So here is my dog doing a walking trial. Um, the things you might want to look at straight away with your kinematics are velocity. Uh, velocity is actually a really good assessment for pain. Generally, animals that are in pain will move much, much slower. If you're not applying attention to your lead and you're allowing the dog to walk at the pace it wants to walk, you might even notice that velocity gives you a reasonable idea of that there's something going on with that individual. Uh, you might see sort of shortened stride lengths, uh, which are associated with lamenesses, and stance times are really great for looking at asymmetry as well as those forces. So how long each foot is in contact with the floor can give you an idea of loading and symmetry as well. Uh, I would actually recommend normalising to duty factor, which is stride, um, stance time as a proportion of stride time. Um, but one big, big thing is start, stance time, stride length, duty factor, force, anything that you're looking at correlates heavily with speed. So you can't be comparing trials of different speeds. All of these will change with speed. Uh, stride length will increase with speed. Stance time will decrease with speed. Force will increase with speed. And that's a really, really important thing to note. But because this gives you speed, you should be able to account for that. So here's that trial on the pressure mat. And this is what it looks like. This is what you get out first. Um, so if I bring up the tables that go with that, these are the tables that it immediately spits out when you do a trial. Um, I'd like to point out anywhere where it says NA is unfortunately my dog is too long for my mat. Uh, I have quite a short mat and a very, very long dog. And unfortunately, due to lockdown, she was the only dog available to me. So this is entirely my dog's fault and not TechScan's fault. Um, some of these uh, values, you need to be able to get a whole stride to be able to get that value. You can't get stride time without a whole stride. And unfortunately, she is just slightly too young, uh, slightly too long to always get a full stride on there. I can usually get a stride, but not more. So where it says NA, that's just because she's too long. Um, but as you can see in here, uh, you get your stance times, you get swing times, you get gait velocity, um, and there's also the force data there as well, as well as some symmetry values, which um, this automatically spits out symmetry values, um, left, right, and front, back. It's up to you whether you want to use those symmetry values or you have your own version of symmetry values as to what you consider symmetrical. 